Welcome back, everybody. It's Car and Driver Radio live today from the Specialty Equipment Market Association trade show known as SEMA. I'm Alan Taylor. From the show floor, it's not open to the public, so you're not allowed in, but you're here with us today. So welcome aboard. Our show brought to you in part by OnStar, by GM Now with turn-by-turn navigation. Also, Escort Radar Detector. How do you like that? Detectors, not retectors. Protectors, how do you like that? Escort Radar Detectors, escortradar.com. I am here now with the gentleman from General Motors Performance Parts Division, Dr. Jamie Meyer. And uh, Camaro, been on a lot of the covers of our magazine over the last uh, right. six, eight, nine months. And here it is now at SEMA. There's the real thing on the show floor. General Motors has, like, uh, I heard five or six of them in the booth, something like that. Yeah, we've got uh, six of the cars there. Nice. Multiple colors, multiple engines, and uh, ready to go. And Buy you're the now. performance parts division. Mm -hmm. You guys have put a big old honking crate engine in one of these. Is that true? Already made a hot rod out of a Camaro? The yeah, 2010 I mean, that's, Camaro? That's what GM Performance Parts does. We, we're the nice. high-performance crate engine uh, division for General Motors, and uh, we supply a lot of the industry, the best crate engines out there. But, uh, yeah, we uh, looked at the new Camaro, and, of course, just like everybody else, we want to make it faster and more powerful, and uh, that's what SEMA's all about. So uh, to honor that, there's one down there called the LS7 Camaro. It's bright red, Ooh. and uh, we also put a hot cam in it, so it's at uh, 586 horsepower. Oh, so. got to love it. Without even uh, supercharging, no turbocharging, just no, naturally no. aspirated, yeah. major muscle car. And, uh, and luckily, gas is coming down. I saw it at 227 a, a gallon, which is, you know, it's like a half of what it was for a while there. Yeah, happy days are here yeah, again. Almost, yeah. And I'm, I'm like getting, you know, overexcited here about 227, which is weird. But anyway, because I own a 500 horsepower car and a 450 horsepower truck, I like horsepower. I'm a performance guy. I'm wow. your customer. Yeah, well, we, uh, I'll, I'll speak to you directly. Then. There you, you go. Make, make sure you check out gmperformanceparts.com. Of course, we're on display here at SEMA. We're launching uh, three new crate engines, actually, based off our LSX block. One's the LSX 454, Ooh. naturally aspirated, 620 horsepower. And then we've got an LSX Holy 376. Mackerel. That's a little 450 horse crate engine. And then we're also going to have, uh, later in 2009, the LS9 out of the ZR1 Corvette available as a crate engine. Oh, my gosh. That's got to be 50 grand all by itself. <laughs> uh, I'll cut a deal for you, buddy. <laughs> That's the, uh, the monster, the mojo factor, if you have that. When are they going to do that? Yeah, well, we're saying fall of 2009. We're trying to pull that ahead because we've got a lot of guys with 69 Camaros that want a 638-horse supercharged oh, Chevy crate engine in that car. So. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah. So how big is GM Performance Division? I mean, are you guys selling a couple of parts here and there? Is it just a monster division of GM? No, we're, GM Performance Parts is certainly one of the smaller groups within General Motors, but uh, you know we do serve a niche to the hot rod community. They see these incredible powertrains that Tom Stevens and, and his engineers developed at, at GM Powertrain for all of our great vehicles at General Motors, and, and we're able to provide that crate engine to the consumers who want to build a hot rod. I met a guy at GM one time... Uh over powertrain name of Volker Harhaus. Do you, do you know who he is? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think is. he's retired now. I mean, this guy was so in love with the big block engine that he was developing that it was it was like almost bizarre. And I think that, you know, the, our editor-in-chief of Car and Driver, Chubba Chetta, engineering guys, they love this whole, you know, this, this mechanical beast that they're creating. It lives, it breathes, it eats. Well, it makes it's, noise. It's a, it's a very uh, a loved relationship. Yeah. They know every component to these engines. You know, we, we still provide brand new big blocks from General Motors. Uh, we have the ZZ427. That's the latest one to our lineup. We had the anniversary nice. all-aluminum one here last year. We still have a few of those left. Uh, but, yeah, the big blocks are still great sellers. There's still people that want. Uh, I Believe it or not, I have a need for a big block right now. I, I swear to you, I bought a truck just the other day. It was a... 88 F3, no, no, sorry, a GMC, it's a GMC, I have Fords and Chevys both. I understand. It's a GMC crew cab dually, one ton, and it had a blown engine in it, but 65,000 original miles, I don't know what happened, old people owned it, I don't know whether they didn't take care of the engine through oil changes, because it should have lasted double to three of times course. that, right? Yeah. But meanwhile, they took care of the body and paint, so mechanically bad, body and paint, beautiful, so I'm going to be looking at one of these, what am I going to have to spend on a crate engine? 
Well, you know what I'd recommend to you? You know, go to gmperformanceparts.com. You can shop uh, big block crate engines right on our e-commerce. We're actually selling big blocks online. You can order it with your credit card. But nice. I would recommend an HT502. Get 500. Hold on, hold on. Write that down. HT502. And then get 500 pound-feet of torque, and then you can uh, tow your uh, race car out to the track. HT502. That's the 502 engine. The 502. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, look, I'm going to be calling you. Uh, right, you know, you're the guy. Hold on, put my glasses on here. Dr. Jamie Meyer from the GM Performance Parts Division. I cannot wait to see, and you can see too, the new Camaro. Just Google it, for goodness sake. It's out there. The 2010 Camaro, hot-rodding it here at SEMA. I'm Alan Taylor. It's Car and Driver back from the show floor right after this.